What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Smoking Jazz Barbecue and today we're going to be doing a pork butt on a charcoal acorn kamado. Oh man, it's going to be so good. It's going to be juicy, tender and moist and we're going to have that nice smoke ring all around it guys. Oh, can't wait for the best part of the entire video which is that taste test. So guys, I just got to apologize to you because we're going to skip forward to where I'm placing my wood chunks which is that cherry flavor into the acorn kamado. I, I, have to, I had some corrupted files that was not able to be viewed for some odd reason so I'm just going to skip through the initial part of placing the royal oak lump charcoal into the acorn kamado so you're not missing much guys but I just want to let you know that I'm just skipping forward to that particular part so guys stay tuned I'm gonna show you how to do this it's gonna be a great video guys on the acorn kamado so we're gonna take a few chunks of cherry and just embed it in here if you notice I'm using the smaller bits uh, maybe four big, you know, medium sized chunks, and I'm gonna spread them out this way with the airflow. This is gonna catch on to it, and we're gonna make sure that we get a nice clean smoke. All right, guys, we're almost at that 300 mark, as you can see. And we still got our vents right between the one and the two on the top. And we're looking at about almost one and a half at the bottom. All right, folks, this is our pork show that we're doing today. As you can see, we got a nice little marbling. And we got a nice little season going on with it. I let it marinate overnight and just some simple, good old fashioned, all purpose pork rub. We're about to take this bad boy and place it in here. So we're looking at 350 at this point, and that's about the target temperature. I'm looking for anywhere between three and 350. And as you can see, we're still at the, between the one and the two. And I did close uh, the bottom vent it's a tiny little hole right there on to the one. So let's take a look at our pork shoulder. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Look at that color guys. And what I got here is just some good old pineapple juice. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Just gonna spritz it. Just to add a little bit of moisture. Now remember guys, I don't have a meat pro right now because I want to get this bark on it as quick as possible. Then I'm going to place my meat probe in there. And then we're going to cook it till we get to about 202 or between 200 and 205. Man, so we're going to close this lid and let it continue to do its magic. All right guys, so we're maintaining that 300 mark. Let's take a look. Oh yeah. looking pretty guys take a look at that all right let's put to some more oh yeah all right so what i'm gonna do guys i'm gonna let this go for another half an hour because i like the color that it's forming and then what i'm gonna do is probe it and then we're gonna monitor our temperatures all right folks it's been another half an hour and we're still maintaining that 300 degrees oh yeah all right just unlatched it and let's take a look at this bad boy. Oh, oh yeah. She is pretty. Look at that, guys. Oh man. All right, so it's time to insert our probe. And what I'm gonna do, insert right there in the middle. And then we're gonna let this cook till we get to about 160, 165. And I'm gonna wrap it up to that. All right, guys, so we're currently 111, and we got a long way to go before we get to 160, 165. So we're gonna let this rock and roll on its own, 
and we're gonna check back on it in about another half an hour or so. Let's take a look at our bad boy. Oh my goodness. Take a look at that, guys. Holy smokes. All right, guys, so I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna wrap it with some heavy duty aluminum foil. I'm gonna treat it with some uh, additional seasoning plus a little bit of more of that pineapple juice just to help it tenderize a little bit more and then we're gonna cook it till we reach an internal tempo 205. All right, folks, so we're just gonna re spritz this down just on the side. And then what I'm gonna do is add a little bit more liquor in the bottom. That's what it covers it just lightly. And while that's wet, I'm gonna add a little bit of seasoning right here. The sweet and smoky roll from uh, grilled meats. Oh man, there's some good stuff right here, guys. And we're just gonna wrap it with some aluminum foil. Nice and tight. And we're gonna take it back to the grill. So we can place it right there in the center. And then, I'm gonna try to attempt to push this back straight down the center, just like so. And as you can see, wow, we're at 176 right now. Oh man. So we don't have much longer to go, guys. <laughs> Alright, guys, if you hear that sound, that means this is ready. And as you can see right there, it says ready. We're at reach our target temperature. And we are maintaining about 325 degrees in that center. Oh yeah. Oh man. So we're gonna pull this off and let's take a look at what this bad boy looks like. Alright folks, let's take a look. Ooh, it's hot. Be careful when you open this guys. Anything that you have wrapped, always be careful. Because that steam can hurt you. Take a look at that, guys. Bam. Pretty as you can be. Look at that part. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That part is beautiful. Nice color. Look at that mocho all around it. Oh, yeah. This bad boy is ready. Like, so I'm gonna let this rest for about a good hour or two. All right, folks, so we are at my sister's house and let's take a look at what this bad boy looks like. Oh yeah. Oh man. Look at that part, guys. Take a nice look of that smoking, guys. So we're gonna pull this a little bit. Just take a nice little chunk of it. Oh yeah. Hey. Oh, well, I apparently my sister just stole the chunk. <laughs> nice friends. We're gonna pull some pork on this, make some sandwiches, and uh, you can do whatever. You can add some coleslaw to the sandwiches and make a banging sandwich, but this is how I'm gonna eat it right here. No bread, keto diet. Good for everybody. Mm. It's real good. Present season, nice spice. And the heat. You can definitely taste the brown sugar. Wow, the garlic, the herbs. Very good. Guys, if you like grilling and barbecue, this is your channel right here. Make sure you share this video with all your family and friends. And until next time, this is Smokey Jazz Barbecue.